Hey everyone, here's a question on square and square root. The question is, find the smallest number by which 23,805 must be multiplied so that the product is perfect square. So this number is not a perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by multiplying with the smallest number. So what to do here? But now you see this type of question where you have to multiply or divide the smallest number. We have to find out the prime factors of this number. So we're going to do the division method to get the prime factorization of this number. So this number 23,805 is an odd number. So we're going to start this number with the 3. We're going to check if this number is divisible by 3 or not. So let's divide this. So 23 we have. 7th is a 21. So 2 is a remainder. That makes a number 28. Then 3 9s are 27. 1 is a remainder. Let's make a 10. 3 is a 9. Again 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 15. So 3 5s are 15. Now we got 7, uh, 7,935. This again goes in 3. 3 2s are 6. 1 is a remainder. Then 3 6s are 18. Again 1 is a remainder. We got 13. So 3 4s are 12. 1 is a remainder again. We got 15. Then 3 5s are 15. Now this number goes in 5. It doesn't go in 3. 5 5s are 25. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 14. 2 5s are 10. So 4 is a remainder. That makes a number 45. Then 5 9s are 15. 45. Now this number 529 is a square of 23. If you divide this with any other number it will not go. So there are few numbers which you need to remember like 529 is a square of 23 and uh, the other numbers of uh, uh, other square numbers which if we, which are not divisible so only the divisible by a particular number. Now we got 23 to 23 is a 23 1 is a 23. I'm going to just rewrite all the factors what we got here. So 23,805 is equal to 3 into 3 into 5 into 23 into 23. Now, if this number is a perfect square number, the prime factors what we got will always be in pair. You can see that this 3 is in pair and this 23 is also in pair. But there is this 5 which is single. It is not in pairing. Like it's not paired up. So smallest number to be multiplied here will be 5. If there is another 5 present here, then this number will pair up and the number will become perfect square number. So smallest number to be multiplied here will be 5. So whenever like when you see this type of questions, you just do a prime factorization and see which number is not paired up. So that number will become the smallest number to be multiplied. So smallest number to be multiplied here will be 5. So it's a very simple question. I hope it's clear how to solve. In case you have any doubts or any question, you can just drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.